Red Team attack simulations are exercises that mimic a live threat actor operating against an organization. Each exercise is specifically designed to assess how the people, processes and technology stand up to a real attack. Many businesses we speak to have a misconception that Red Team attack simulations are the same thing as penetration testing. There is some overlap with penetration testing, as both do identify vulnerabilities in the environment. However, the focus of penetration testing is typically the technology stack, and it does not take into account all of the security controls that are in place. This can result in a false sense of security, or even a false sense of insecurity. Red team and blue team are terms that are becoming more common in the world of cybersecurity. A red team is your trusted adversary, they are the good guys that attack your organization to see how it may be breached using realistic and up-to-date methods employed by real-life attackers. Blue teams are the defenders. They stop attackers in their tracks and remove them from the environment. Purple teaming is when you get red and blue openly collaborating to learn from each other for a better overall outcome. The red team attempts to identify gaps in the organization's defenses. Red team attack simulations might include things like identifying and executing realistic attacks that may exploit people and processes, not just technology, and assess the effectiveness of security controls. They may include stealthy maneuvers which test the organization's detection capabilities in order to identify blind spots. Challenging the organization's response capabilities by maneuvering towards the crown jewels and persisting in the environment, while the blue team attempts to contain the red team and eradicate the threat. Red teaming often involves social engineering, which may include physical social engineering such as getting into your premises, picking locks or cloning access cards. It may also involve electronic social engineering, which includes targeted spear phishing attacks, voice phishing such as calling help desks for password resets, and much more. Our red team is recognised as one of the best in Australia, winning hacking competitions at conferences and private events. They also publish groundbreaking research and tools that red teams all over the world use regularly, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Not all the research and development we do can be made public. They're also highly trained and highly certified. To even work in our red team, you need to be an Offensive Security Certified Professional, or OSCP. The examination for this certification is extremely tough and includes a notoriously difficult 24-hour hands-on test. Most of the team have other certifications that are even harder to obtain, such as OSCE and the venerable OSEE, of which there are very few with this level of certification on the planet. In addition to these industry-recognized certifications, our team regularly attend specialized red team training. As an example of how talented our team is, they've been able to take over a business's environment in just five hours, where the previous assessor took seven days and overlooked critical vulnerabilities. And to add to this, The Missing Link is a Crest-approved company this means that our red team is held to a strict standard of ethical and professional conduct. An attack on your organization can be devastating if you're not prepared. Our red team is the missing link between where your security is and where you want it to be.